Warning, this video will contain spoilers up to chapter 1020. You've been warned. Hello, my Nakamatachi, this is Joy Girl, and I want to discuss the meaning behind Robin's words in chapter 1020 when she referred to Sanji as someone worthy of being the wings of the Pirate King. I mentioned that this was a topic I wanted to discuss further during the chapter review, so thank you to everyone who left their thoughts and helped clarify the Japanese for me to allow for this discussion. And whilst we will get into the discussion, please first subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and like and share the video to become the wings of our channel and help us soar to the top of the YouTube algorithm. The reason why this is a topic of discussion is because there has been somewhat of a confusion this chapter release because of a difference in translation between the scans and the official release of the chapter by Viz. And this is bound to happen and often does indeed happen where there are slight differences in translations each chapter between the two. And before we delve any deeper, I do want to preface the video to emphasize that I'm not trying to promote one translation over the other or to discredit the works of the fantastically helpful bilingual people who bring us our much needed dose of One Piece in English almost each week. And whilst these differences in translations occur quite regularly, I thought that this was a worthwhile discussion to have. Because it's come to my attention that this has sparked quite a bit of discourse to the extent that it has even brought up the timeless rivalry between Zoro and Sanji fans yet again. And given the importance of Robin's dialogue as it relates to an issue many people had with chapter 1005 and it being a piece of dialogue which could carry on to become a remaining important idea for the future of the series. And for me personally, as someone who likes to analyze the language used in the series and the deeper meanings behind the wording, I understand why it has garnered so much attention. So, if we take Robin's dialogue here, according to the Viz translation, the archaeologist was shown responding to Black Maria who mocked Sanji's actions in calling Robin for help, saying, he is truly worthy of being the wings of the Pirate King. Whereas in the unofficial scans, Robin's dialogue was translated to, he is one of the wings that will allow the Pirate King to soar. And so the question I've seen from fans lies in whether Oda meant for Robin to imply Sanji is the pair of wings that will help Luffy soar, as the official release suggests, or that he is only one of the wings, meaning that there is another person who also fits this position. I know that the Viz translation has led to discussions on what it would then mean for the rest of the Straw Hats if Sanji is the pair of wings. It brings up the question of whether the others also take on other metaphorical roles in aiding Luffy. Maybe we should all adopt Fujitora's view of Luffy as some angelic figure and if Sanji is Luffy's wings, then maybe someone else could be his halo. Someone also left a comment on the chapter review that they initially just interpreted this to mean that all the Straw Hats are integral to helping Luffy reach his goal of becoming the Pirate King, and in that sense, they all form his wings. And whilst that is certainly true that Luffy needs all of his crewmates, there was definite focus placed on Sanji here in this chapter, and so the wording is of some intrigue. I saw that BDA Law referred to Sandman AP's translation and interpretation of the Japanese wording, and according to Sandman, the term used suggests two people. And thankfully, we have Japanese-speaking Nakama in our very own Joy Fleet, who clarified this for me further, so shout out to Gonzalo. And Gonzalo explained that a direct translation of the phrase would be, he is worth to be at the Pirate King's flanks, but that the better interpretation would be that he is worthy to stand next to the Pirate King. But what these interpretations all suggest is that there are two spots. Like how there is a pair of wings, there is a left and right flank. And when in the context of standing next to someone, you can only stand beside one of their sides, not both. Now personally, I like the metaphor and the symbol of the wings the most and how it really paints the image of helping Luffy soar above but in any case, they all seem to have the same underlying idea, that it points to two people. And in that sense, I think it is pretty clear that if Sanji represents one wing or one side, then the other is reflected by Zoro. Zoro and Sanji have been shown to us that they are people worthy of being the wings to the future Pirate King. Time and time again, we have seen these two step up and take on leadership roles in Luffy's place when needed. Zoro was shown taking Luffy's place as leader, such as in Fishman Island when the crew was accused of committing a crime, and in Luffy's absence, Brook, Nami, and Usopp were being attacked in King Neptune's palace, Zoro stepped in and took action, not only physically protecting his crewmates, but also negotiating with Prince Fukaboshi for a way for the Straw Hats to leave Fishman Island safely. 
Sanji was entrusted by Luffy to take the rest of the crew from Dressrosa when the Straw Hats had to split up with half of them staying behind and the other half leaving to protect Caesar Clown and Momonosuke. During this interim, Oda even went to temporarily rename this crew as the Twirly Hat Pirates after Sanji. What's even more is that when Zoro and Sanji are portrayed in these leadership and protector roles, they often go hand in hand. One of the most pertinent examples of Zoro displaying his leadership is towards the end of the Ennius Lobby arc, where Zoro quite sternly reminds Luffy of his role as captain and the respect that this position demands. That Usopp should not be so easily forgiven without him apologizing first, and that even whilst these situations are tough, such is the role of the captain. This clearly showcased Zoro's understanding of leadership and him guiding Luffy in this role. Sanji also displayed his leadership skills in this moment. When others in the crew were shocked at Zoro's sternness, it was Sanji who convinced them that Zoro was ultimately right. Before this, Nami and Chopper seemed ready to refute Zoro, but it was after Sanji spoke to them that they listened and didn't try to speak up against Zoro again. Sanji's level of maturity was highlighted here by the manner in which he speaks to even Nami, being uncharacteristically serious to the Straw Hat Navigator. This dynamic was shown again at the end of Thriller Bark. When faced against the Warlord Kuma, both Zoro and Sanji are willing to lay down their lives to protect their captain, each expressing their willingness to cast away their dreams and ambitions for the sake of their captain. And of course, that awesome moment in Fishman Island. Luffy walking confidently with full trust in his men as Zoro and Sanji both capably clear the path for their captain in whatever his mission is. And I think that this is the true beauty of Robin's dialogue here. There are just so many layers to this moment. For one, I think because of the wording and the situation, not enough attention is given to the fact that Robin has now also declared her belief that Luffy will become the Pirate King, which is a moment that we've been waiting for from Robin. But also, whilst doing so, Robin isn't only singling out her faith in Luffy, but also Sanji. And this comes at such a great time, as it resolves a lot of the issues that some people in the fanbase have had with Sanji recently. Whereas Black Maria mocks Sanji for his actions in Chapter 1005, Robin stands by and affirms Sanji's decision. Oda uses this moment, and through Robin, is telling us all that Sanji's cry for help was not a moment of weakness. It is a beautiful moment that really showcases his character development. Sanji has always tried to shoulder burdens alone. This is why he left the crew at Hulk Island, because he felt saving his family, facing a Yonko, was something he couldn't burden his crew with. But since then, he has learned that it is not burdening his crew, but leaning on his friends. And in Chapter 1005, we witness the payoff of this character development. And for this to happen with Robin, it meant so much more because this is a lesson that Robin herself had to learn back in Ennius Lobby. And if we consider Robin's dialogue in this chapter even further, it also has the effect of solidifying Sanji's importance. Since the recruitment of Jinbei into the crew and with speculations highly supporting Yamato's potential as a future straw hat, there has been lots of talk. With some believing that Jinbei and Yamato to be stronger than Sanji, and thus his role and importance to the crew will be downgraded and shifted. But here, Sanji's role is being solidified. Regardless of Jinbei joining the crew or any other future Straw Hats we may get, that dynamic of Sanji's importance to Luffy will not change. This was already emphasized in Whole Cake Island, with Luffy declaring himself that he could not become Pirate King without Sanji. And after 20 years of storytelling, there is no way that Oda is going to change this dynamic now. And so personally, I think that's why the wording has been constructed the way it has. There is no need to spell out that Sanji is one wing and that Zoro is the other. The question about Zoro's importance doesn't really exist. The purpose and effect of Robin's dialogue here is to clarify Sanji's role. Now, the discussions surrounding whether Sanji will be downgraded with the introduction of new crewmates and what his actions in Chapter 1005 signified, this can all be put to rest. Because this has now been set in stone. Zoro and Sanji are Luffy's right and left hand men. His trustworthy flanks, the ones who will always stand by his side. Zoro and Sanji are Luffy's wings. Luffy needs them, needs them both as a pair as they are the ones who will fly him higher and higher closer to the top. The wings who will help him soar and help fulfill his dream to become the Pirate King. 
Let me know what you think by leaving a comment below. Don't forget to like and share the video and also do subscribe for more One Piece content. Please also join our Discord server for even more One Piece discussions. And thank you to our patrons who help this channel. And did you know that becoming a patron can also grant you your own special role within the Discord server? This is Joy Girl, and I'll see you again soon.